Cappy in a haystack. Detailed walkthrough between the parlor and the fistop grill. Sierra Petrovita is encountered talking to a raider. Intercepting the conversation reveals that she has come to find the reward for finding hidden cappies throughout the park. Given that the reward was meeting John Caleb Bradburton, the creator of Nuka Cola, she figures that his office might contain the original recipe of the drink. She gives her sunglasses and a holotape to the sole survivor to allow them to help her search for the hidden cappies. Once close to a quest marker, it disappears, encouraging a thorough search of the area. The hidden cappy figures are paintings on concrete surfaces in public areas of the park, and there are ten to be found. Without the cappy glasses equipped, the player sees only a fuzzy cappy figure with a blurred speech bubble. With the glasses equipped, the code is revealed. Click on the revealed figure to register the code and update the quest. Note that the cappy glasses do not work when worn under power armor. To see the code, either simply take off the helmet, one might have to re-equip the cappy glasses even though the box in front of them is ticked off as if they are already equipped, or exit the power armor, click on the hidden cappy, then re-enter the power armor. Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. Nuka Town USA, Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. Nuka Town USA, there is one located southwest of the Fistop Grill, on the large wall just left of the restroom's building. Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. Safari Adventure, there are two in the Safari Adventure. The first Cappy is through the hedge maze beneath the treehouse, against a wall on the eastern edge. From the entrance, the order of turns is right, right, left, left and right. The second is just outside the primate house. Look for the gorilla statue to the right of the door and pass through a patch in the hedge to get to the statue's back. Cappy is on the back of the plinth. Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. Dry Rock Gulch Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. Dry Rock Gulch, there are two in Dry Rock Gulch. The first is located on the back of a gravestone in the cemetery west of the Giddy Up Kid Protectron. The second is in Mad Mulligan's Mine on the wall of a little shack beside the waterfall. Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. Galactic Zone, there are two in the Galactic Zone. The first is at the entrance to the Dead Traders Camp around the back of Star Control Entrance. The sign should be on the left side entrance, right next to the employees only sign at the expert locked gate. The second is up the ramp to the left of the Robco Battle Zone. Turn right immediately at the top of the spacewalk ramp and the cappy is on the right wall near the trash bins. Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. Kitty Kingdom, cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. Kitty Kingdom, there are two in the Kitty Kingdom. One is in the funhouse in the turntable room, second door on the left when entering from the topsy-turvy room or second door on the right when entering from the room with control terminal for the funhouse. The second one is located on the top floor of a destroyed wooden clock tower, just southwest of the bridge leading to King Cola's castle. Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. World of refreshment, Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. World of refreshment, there is one in world of refreshment. Inside the plant, following the Nuka Cola Quantum River. It is on the side of a two-story building across from the Nuka Wild Cola sign in the Wild West setting. Going in the opposite direction that was intended for the ride makes it easier to spot. It will be on the right hand just after entering the Wild West setting from the wrong direction. Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough. Return to Sierra, return to Sierra Petrovita. Putting the hidden Cappy clues in the right order results in refreshing, as stated by Sierra. Use the keypad to unlock Bradburton's office. In the office on the second floor, there is a button on the right hand side of the Nuka Cola machine. This unlocks an elevator that leads down to a small vault, containing the head of the owner and inventor of Nuka Cola, John Caleb Bradburton. Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough, siding with Bradburton Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough siding with Bradburton he will request the machine to be shut down to end his torment of being trapped in there for centuries. If one chooses to honor his request and to shut off the power, John Caleb dies and the locked door will open. Behind the door is a Nuka Nuke launcher, Nuka Nukes, the Nuka Cola formula, various Nuka Colas and the key to Bradburton's expert locked safe in his office. The Nuka Cola formula must be given to Sierra to complete the quest, and she rewards 500 caps in return, although she is conflicted about the choices that have been made. Cappy in a haystack, detailed walkthrough, siding with Sierra Cappy in a haystack, 
detailed walkthrough. Siding with Sierra Sierra on the other hand wants to keep him alive, offering that she can keep John Caleb company to keep him from being lonely. She offers the Nuka World jumpsuit as a reward. 